so today we're targeting squawfish or northern pike minnow. Um, and apparently they like, but I've done some research and uh, they like chicken liver a lot. So we went to our local Safeway and purchased some chicken liver and now we're just gonna try to catch some fish on this hot day. <laughs> It's 80 degrees right now around there and we got this bridge above us so we're just going to use it as shade to make sure we don't get dehydrated because it's pretty hot. So, it looks nice. I feel like here's this going to be some. The water moves quite pretty quick but I think we can catch one here. I'm gonna just throw it not too far. Because right here is in the shade and they might want to stay here. So. Remember, you want to bounce that one. You don't want to just pull it in. You want to throw it, let it sink to the bottom, and just bounce, bounce, reel it in. Bounce, bounce, reel it in. What? Wait. What? What is what? Oh, they're just little baby fish, like. Like the ones from this year, that's how small they are. Oh. Oh, oh. I got one. Yeah, I already got one. Let's go. This is a nice one too. Oh, this is exactly what we're after. Let's go. That was quick. That's, we, we, we can try this one. Look at that. There's a northern pike minnow. This is exactly what we wanted. First cast too. They really want the shade, huh? Okay, this hook is not gonna come out. There we go. Should we, should we keep it or let it go? Let it go, huh? Because they're not that good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe next time we'll do like a catch and cook or something. We'll just let this guy go because we're not gonna eat him. There he goes. That was quick. That was like two minutes. They really wanted the shade. Let's set this. There we go. Cast now, we just wait until they bite.
You want to watch this one? Or you want to keep fishing with that one? I'll just sit here then. Let's go! <laughs> this thing's huge. <laughs> this boat was passing by and they just saw me catch another one. Ah, oh, I got its gills, I think. No! I'm gonna have to keep this one. We're gonna have to keep this one. <laughs> Wait, Tony. Uh, yeah, can you get me the uh, the pliers? I got it in the gills. We're gonna have to keep this one. Oh. Yeah. It's in the I think the small pocket. Yeah, that's a nice one. This it's two pounds. It's like a two pounder. You were so far. Yeah, they saw that it cut it. Fish probably like. Okay, I'm gonna just hit it in the head and we'll take it. Jesus rock. And it's dead. Let me make sure. There, it's dead. Good chill. I just didn't want to hurt it anymore, so now I can just go ham on it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Finally. That's a nice fish. Right there. And we'll put it in here. There we go. So, we kept the, the other squawfish because it, I hooked it in the lungs. So, there was no reason to put it back. So, um, we just decided to keep it and I think we might use it as bait or we might turn out eating it. I don't know. We'll see what we do when I get home. That one was nice. Okay. We'll set it up again. Now yeah, we'll just take off this. How do you cut the top one? Yeah. Now we're just gonna set this up again and throw it out like we were last time. There throw the the ducks the duck and the duck in. I'm <laughs> forgetting that we're being greedy and eating chicken. I need to cut. Far next to him, bro. This is a fish, like. I'm looking more Let's go. Oh, it's so fresh here. What? It's so fresh the because the trees are like covering everything. I'm gonna put this thing in there. Or else is gonna get bad. It is, huh? There's like not much. Not much people doing some crazy stuff. 
we changed spots quite a bit ago to a completely different spot, but the same river. I've actually been here before and tried the same strategy of using a Carolina rig and chicken liver and it's worked great. So we shouldn't have a problem catching any fish here. Open it. Oh my God. I forgot to take it. I forgot to open it. Just oh, yeah. oh, almost fell. Oh, did I already get a bite? No, I don't think so. I think it just tipped over. Yep, it just tipped. Bruh. Yeah, there's so much weed. <laughs> Let me try that again. Okay, that looks good. Now if we just... There's so many rocks here, that's the problem. There we go. I can't get this thing to set. The small one. That was quick. There's another one. Let's go. I think we're gonna keep this one too. Should we keep it? Should we keep it? Okay. We're gonna keep this little one. But that was super quick. Nothing took it like it was nothing. Second one, let's go. Just gonna put him in the net. We'll just let him be. I was just getting a bite. Get him bit. Get him bit. That one. Yeah. There's another one. I knew I was getting a bite. There we go. Okay. Oh. We'll bonk this guy and we'll put him in the net again. Let's go. Another fish on the board. Okay, so I just want to share with you guys a verse that I have saved. It is Romans 10, 9. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that, Jesus, that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Um, so this is just an, ama an amazing verse of encouragement that God has given us. Um, first, uh, to that God, God can literally just give us eternal life just like that. And it says here that if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is our Lord, so if we truly believe and confess that Jesus is our Lord and Savior, and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, so we believe in Him and truly, truly acknowledge what He's done and what 
what he can do, you will be saved. So here, it's just an amazing word of encouragement that we, we can just remember that God can just do amazing things and there is life after after death here on earth but it's just an amazing word I, I have saved in my mind and it's just amazing how merciful and good God is even though we sin against him every single day multiple times and it's just how it's just crazy how forgiving God can be and loving and I just wanted to leave you guys with that um, with that verse today maybe you guys are in a time of trouble time of distress time of anything and this this verse can really just lift your heart up because it just encourages us that there is life and life that we we will live forever and God wants us to have that but of course he gives us free will and we can do whatever we want but God truly wants us to have eternal life and he says that if we just do these things he will save us because he's so merciful so I just want to leave you guys with that and have a blessed day I just lost a fish had a nice fish on there no oh. Okay, gotta go back to rig up my bait to try to catch that fish again. I've lost it twice today. No way. I just had a bite. That was a nice fish too. I think it might be a small fish because that's the third third time I've gotten bit and it hasn't taken the whole thing. Geese. Yeah, they were talking up there, huh? Okay. Just gonna gather our stuff and we'll go home. Yeah. We took an L. What? <laughs> With the. Yeah. Now we know for next time. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I dropped this thing, bro. I was trying to catch it. Yeah.